ओके सो डी एस ए एंड ये सब चीजें पढ़ने के लिए और अल्गोरिजम पढ़ते टाइम हमने बहुत सारे सर्चिंग अल्गोरिजम देखे होंगे वॉट इज अर्चिंग अल्गोरिजम इट इज बेसिकली वेन वी हैव एन अरे सम काइंड ऑफ अरे डर मैटर कैसा सम काइंड ऑफ अरे और लिस्ट वॉट एवर यू कॉल इट इसके अंदर कुछ भी चीजें हो सकती है एंड वॉट अ सर्चिंग अल्गोरिजम डज इज बेसिकली द मेन ब्लॉकर इज की ओके इस एरे में ये पर्टिकुलर जो एलिमेंट है इफ दैट एग्जिस्ट इन द एरे Like a list of numbers है. We want to know कि उस list of numbers में five है कि नहीं. So that is a that is a searching algorithm. अब ये searching algorithms को हम optimize कैसे कर सकते हैं? If you know about the big O notation that uh, talks about the complexity of an algorithm, that talks about the basically in very simple terms that talks about how much time is taken, how much resources are taken to run that particular algorithm. So the basic search that we generally do is basic search literally and uh, how does the basic search works that is the iterative kind of search works something like this like let's take a array called numbers something like this now if we want to find that a number maybe the number can be 16 if that is inside this list or this array what we generally do is we start searching from the first we uh, initialize a new variable called i that we use as the index and we initialize it at 0 and then we keep increasing it and then we keep checking if number i that is the ith element of the numbers array if it is equal to number that is 16 right that makes sense cool uh so how much time will this take is the point so i we will have to uh, check like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 on the eighth iteration on the eighth iteration we will find 16 and that will be it theek hai now the problem is that 16 could be towards the end of the list or the beginning of the list but we always calculate the worst scenario because we have to be prepared our code has to be prepared for the worst scenario if we are prepared for the worst scenario any other scenario is good to go it's just a cherry on the top honestly so instead of 16 if the value of num was 56 it will definitely take us what is the worst case the worst case is we have to look through the whole list and we find the number at the end so the worst case is number of iterations is equals to the length of the list makes sense the length of the list that is the num- total number of iterations the worst case scenario that can happen but on a very hindsight can we make this better what if you look at this numbers wala array what else do you see what are some properties you would say right we can say okay all of uh, the uh, let's list down some properties of numbers one can be um, whole array only has positive integers makes sense the second thing can be okay this is in a strictly increasing order that is interesting okay now can we make our search faster if we use this information that the whole array is in an increasing order how does it help us let me tell you suppose again we are searching for suppose we are searching for 60 again now If we randomly suppose for example, if we randomly uh, instantiate i instead of i equals to zero, we instantiate it to maybe i equals to four. So what is the fourth element? This is zero, one, two, three, four. We get as seven. Now see, we instantiated it at four. Initially, it would have taken like four, five, five iterations to get to there. But now we just randomly instantiated to four, only one iteration to four. Now we see it is seven, and we know seven is less than six. And if the if the whole array is in increasing order, sixteen cannot come before seven. So we do not really need to check this zero to three index. We can only worry about what is in the later half. We know it is from uh, four. to the end of the list that is where our 16 will be now we take another random element that in this range maybe now it lands at uh, 21 now it is at 21 which is like 5 6 7 8 9 